on the hallowed grounds of Fenway Park. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Isaac Paredes. Yeah, Boogie, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set. And starting this one, Tanner Howe. What do we have on him? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Here comes a pitch. That's, That's inside. And one and one. One and one. In the air, right field. And that's a fair ball. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. There's the strike, 95 of that one. Diaz on at first, nobody out. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Here's the 0-2. Just outside. misses Ball. the mark outside the zone. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire, and out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Josh Lowe, batting with one down, takes a strike. Man at first, one away. And a foul ball. Inside, ball, almost got him. And a pitch. Outside. Oh. Here's a two two. here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Isaac Paredes now. First pitch, and he just misses. Wow. Two outs. And yeah. now it's even up. 
One, one. And Two, another one. ball. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. These hitters like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands or you're in a broadcast booth or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this pitcher. Got him looking. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. here with my pal Siggy and towing the slab Taj Bradley well this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound hitters batting under 200 against him and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything doing any type of damage the only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run but outside of that it's gonna be a tough job for the opposing lineup today bottom of the first here's the center fielder Jaron Duran to the right side. Diaz steps on the bag. One gone bottom half of the first. Here's a check of the Red Sox lineup put together by manager Alex Cora. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. Righty delivers. And that's too high. One out, base is empty. And it is two and one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Paredes drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. Two away going to have to have a little more discipline in future at bats that pitch looked good but you can't hit it it was just too high in the zone you usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield Tyler O'Neill oh, in now takes ball one off the plate that's a laser base hit That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and dipped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Rafael Devers stands in now and watches strike one. O'Neal off of first with two away. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0-2 oh, now. Fights it off. He'll see another. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up.
That one way outside. Now one and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Righty to the plate. Off the ball, mark there. Good. And it's two and two. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Throw to the first. Hey. And he's back in on a dive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. And the Red Sox leave one. Scoreless after one. Inside Fenway Park, all set for the start of the inning. Harold Ramirez at the dish. How back to work. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. O'Neill whips it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Johnny DeLuca. Right through there for a strike. With the go-ahead run standing at second. Here at the top of the second. And fouled off. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Nice. Doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Here's the second baseman, Richie Palacios. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. And it's second. And he yeah. takes one right on the black. Oh, a two now. A plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, bro, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with it. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. He'll circle the bases, his fourth home run of the season, and they take the lead. It's 2-0. They put a good swing on it, but the box score might want to credit the win for that home run. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. And now it's going to be Jose Caballero. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. Oh, he that's doesn't get the call. And yeah, that's ball two. How? 
maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, yeah. guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Just missed. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And here's Alex Jackson. And the slider just misses. Two out spaces empty. And that's in the dirt. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. The Rays with a two run homer. And it's 2-zip. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Boston. Bottom of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And yeah, there's a curve through for a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. On the ground to short. Over to Diaz. And quickly one away in the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Vaughn Grissom up next for the Red Sox. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's a fair ball. Around first, digging for two. The throw into second, and he'll make it safely. That's a double. Even though he was really late on it, he clearly barreled the ball because that one was ripped down the line. He had to be really short with that swing, not get beat by that pitch. And at second with one away, here's the veteran first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Oh. Just missed. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. With the tying run at the plate, bottom half of inning number two. And another ball. Two and one. High fly ball, shallow right field. Makes the grab, and there are two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Yeah, the batter now, Romy Gonzalez. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Fought off foul. Grissom on its second with two down. And that's in for a strike. Not what close with that one. And the count one and two.
Out to center. DeLuca in position. Squeezes it. And that will end the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They trail things here. 2-0. Benway, top half of the third inning. Yanni Diaz now. The right hander back to work. And that's outside. And it's 1 0. 1 0. And the slider just misses. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. O'Neill going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now the number two hitter, Randy Arozarena. His first at bat was a strikeout. That right. one finds the zone. Strike one. Sliced hard, but foul. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. He goes down looking. The bat, number 15. Josh Lowe, the next to hit, went down on strikes his first time through. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball. That one hit to right. Ref Snyder has a beat on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning. And the batter will be the shortstop. Sidney and Rafaela. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. 0 oh 1. Oh Popped up. Diaz moves under it. Makes the grab. One down. Center fielder, number 16. So the batting order turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. Grounded out his first time. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid-80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. A little bit uh, high. Ball. And the count is one and one. He just one has to understand one. that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this ball. league. That's down. Next pitch is downstairs. Fouled off to the right. The Rays leading by two here in the last half of the third. Struck him out looking. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Ref Snyder at the plate and takes high there. Two outs. Swing and a pop-up. Palacios under it. He makes the grab. And that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Red Sox. They're still down. It's two zip. Ah. 
out of the fourth. Here's the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Isaac Paredes. And a pitch. A little bit low. Well, these Rays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Line drive to short and caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Now up for Tampa Bay, Johnny DeLuca struck out swinging his first time. Paredes over at first with one away. Ground ball left side. There's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the unit. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Rays two and the Red Sox nothing. Back here at Fenway, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Tyler O'Neill. Oh, yeah. Line of the pitch. Just oh. missed. You know, these Red Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Ramirez calls it in, and there's one away. The third baseman. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Not having as much success with the bat here at home as you see the splits. <laughs> the Red Sox trailing by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. In the air, foul off first. Reaches over the wall, and he's got it! Couple of pitches and a quick out. <laughs> and next for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. And that one pulled foul. Two down, nobody on. Strike two. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. Two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And, and the right-hander deals. That one oh. off the mark. And that's ball well, one. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. On the run, sends it over to first. They get the out, and that'll do it. 
Down in order go the Red Sox. And they're down 2 nothing. Back in Boston. And now here is Richie Palacios. How back to work. Just no, missed. Next no, offering that's, that's is down low. Yeah, that oh. skips in the dirt. He hasn't fallen Three behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And a four-pitch walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So up next, Jose Caballero. Caught looking his first time up. That one misses. That's five straight. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Alex Jackson next to hit for the Rays. He's over one. That yeah. one finds the zone, and that's strike one. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still 0-2. No outs, runners at first and second. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. So the Rays batting order turns over. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. One for two. Close missed, one doesn't ball. get the call. Ball one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Late swing fouled off. And he deals. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. Fouls it off, still one and two. And here it comes. Way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. The 2 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. The pitch. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Palacios around third. He'll score easily, and they lead by three. 
comes through with the RBI. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. One away, runners at first and third. And now, Randy or Rosarena. That yeah. one's in there, 0 and 1. Here comes a pinch. Good yep. eye right there. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Nick Pavetta up and throwing. Kelly also getting ready. Runners are at the corners, one away. Just nope. off the outside edge, two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Righty delivers. Popped in the air. Left field. Diving. It gets down. Could be extra bases. One run across. Diaz around third. Now he launches a throw over his head. Alex Cora is out of the dugout and he will make a move for the bullpen. Tanner Howe done for the night and he leaves a runner at third. So we'll see how the next pitcher deals with that when we get back. Now on the bump, Nick Pavetta. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. Runner at third with one gone. And next is the designated hitter, Josh Lowe. High fly ball out into left center field. They got it for out number two. Now batting. Third baseman. He saw Paredes. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Isaac Paredes. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Up the middle. Dives, and he can't hang on. In comes the run from third. It's 6-0. Now Harold Ramirez. Harold Ramirez. Next to hit for the Rays. And that one fouled off. Pitch misses. And now it's even one and one. Good and right. fires in a fastball at 95. The one two. two and two in the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Paredes leads off first with two down to the inning. Next count pitch misses. And yeah, the count is filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion. So something in the gap should definitely score. And yeah, they'll do it again. Two outs. And a ground ball to first. Gets to it with a slide. And very nicely done for the out. So four runs on four hits. No errors. And a runner left on. Home half of the fifth coming up.
It's the Rays six and the Red Sox nothing. We head to the bottom Leading of the off. fifth. Now Hello, it's the Red second Sox. baseman, Vaughn Grissom. The second baseman. Vaughn. The wind of the pitch. Hey, right hey. through there for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Whips it to first on the run. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The first baseman. Garrett Cooper. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. He's 0 for 1. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And that one is gone. He flexes his power with that swing. His second of the year. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 6-1. That gives this offense something to celebrate for the first time in this one. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run, to the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Base is empty one away. Romy Gonzalez digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. The Rays leading by five. Last half of inning number five. The old one is outside and it's a ball and a strike. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. That two, one two. not close. Two balls, two strikes. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Up the middle, Palacios. Now the throw to first After on the that. run. Only one out left for the Red Sox. Now batting, shortstop. Sedane. Here's the shortstop Rafaela. at the play. Sedane Rafaela. First time up was a pop out. Right through there for a strike. And a foul ball. Bradley is just one strike away. Way outside, and that's ball one. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Line drive, and a base hit right there. So now back to the top of the order. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. I think baseball's starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. Oh, they need them in this game today. Checks over to first, back safely. Pitch Ball. misses, 1-0. Oh. Rafaela off of first with two away. Wouldn't Ball. chase that time. Hit to second, and this should do it. On to first, ball game. 
Well, he went the distance for that first MLB win, Boog. I think it's impressive how much trust the skipper already has in him. This could be the start of something great. 6-1 is your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.